Here we are, AM Expo 2024. Who are you and what do you do? I'm Chris Candido. I'm a CTO and a car part owner of a Turn 14 Distribution. Turn 14, we've heard that name uh, here around the show. Um, it's new to the power sports space, but not new into the, the bigger automotive world. Yeah, we've been in the automotive space for about two decades, and uh, we've tried to transition into power sports uh, over the years. Uh, but last year we purchased uh, the assets of Tucker, uh, so we've kind of taken that on and uh, rolled that into our organization. So that's what we're doing now. Well, everybody from the the car side of things sees things a little bit different than power sports. What do you see here at the show? Uh, I think it's really it, it's it's pretty eye opening for me to really be on the ground talking to dealers and talking to brands. Um, it seems very uh, focused on the market. People want to talk about the industry. They want to talk about what they're interested in, and uh, it, it, it seems really nice. We're used to the SEMA show, uh, which is a lot bigger, but I think this has a lot of really good content and a really good uh, interaction, so it's been really good. So speaking of SEMA, um, for those that don't know, Turn 14 was uh, the warehouse or distributor of the year, how many years consecutively, in, in five out of six or some incredible number like that? Yeah, it was, uh, I believe it was three years, so it was, yeah, so it was, it was, a pretty good run, so uh, and we yeah we uh, we appreciated the recognition. So it was to, to, to get an honor like that means you guys know what you're doing. You're efficient. You're, you've got happy dealers at the other end of the pipeline. Those, those kind of economies of scale and efficiencies that you developed in that bigger picture. How does that impact us here at Power Sports? Well, I think you know we have uh, we have a lot of great systems. We we spent a lot of time and effort trying to be as efficient as we can be. Uh, we put a huge em emphasis on technology. Uh, so, from the warehousing level, where we use a lot of automation, down to our systems and things like that, we try to be as easy as possible to work with. But I would also say, on the flip side, we have just an excellent team. Uh, the new folks we've hired in the power sports side have been fantastic as well. Uh, they have great synergy with our team, so it's been a really big win there. We have a lot of people who know how to navigate the industry and, and, and know a lot of folks and have a lot of retained knowledge. And then also, I think, you know, we have excellent dealers, excellent suppliers, so it's kind of a win all around. We're, we're big on relationships, and I think, you know, we've got good Relationships ones. are good. Um, you're the chief technology officer. Can you please touch upon what ACEs and PIs are and what we can learn on the power sports side from Turn 14 specifically? Sure. So uh, ACEs and PIs are a uh, basically a product categorization standard established by AutoCare on the automotive side. Uh, they make it really easy. On automotive, it's a very easy to, to, catalog, to get um, products cataloged in a way that's usable across the dealer network. Um, so ACEs and PIs kind of they simplify tying attributes and vehicle fitment applications uh, to that. On the auto, on the motorcycle side, we haven't. Um, we've kind of had a struggle because we're used to we've been used to dealing with aces and pies for you know a couple decades. Um, we're working on actually adjusting to uh, to bring some of those standards over uh, as part of our business practices. And uh, I think it would be you know something we'll push for within the industry because I think it's a, a, a good move to be unified where you know people getting new products to market and things like that becomes things that can be done in a, in a click of a button versus uh, you know having somebody inputting data and keeping it up to date. Inputting data though, there was a lot of SKUs that had to be integrated from the old Tucker system into Turn 14 no, systems. No, many, many SKUs, yeah. <laughs> Job security for you, I guess. Yes, I guess so, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was, uh, it's been a lot of work. Um, we have a, you know, our, our team's done an excellent job with it. The, the folks that we transitioned over, uh, they hit the ground running and they're really committed to what they're doing, uh, which has been tremendously helpful. Uh, and yeah, I think we're, you know, we're working through the transition right now. In, in the midst of, of the Tucker uh, process, we also uh, doubled the footprint of our Pennsylvania warehouse and opened another warehouse in Indianapolis. So it's been a, a lot of challenges along the way, but uh, I think we're getting everything underfoot and kind of getting rolling uh, so yeah we're excited.